fraud product training. In the grow area, we have a position for fraud products. This is where we cook McNuggets, McChicken, crispy chicken, and filet of fish. A couple things to check for in your area are one, that you have blue fluff, two, your skim, skimming holder and skimmer, three, your raw product only sign, and then of course your cooked product only sign. So whenever you're loading up baskets with raw product, you can only load that in one area, which would be directly below the green sign. When you have completed product that needs to go into a UHC tray, that UHC tray would be located below the red sign that says cook product only. You never load baskets on this side of the fry bag. It's very important that is cross contamination. Okay, so Zion's gonna first show us how we properly put on blue gloves to drop nuggets. So you have to have blue gloves on both hands and you never have clear gloves on underneath the blue gloves. It's very important, okay? So we're gonna take our full size, four segment cooking basket for nuggets. The maximum amount of nuggets you can put in this basket are two bags. So we're going to show you how to properly fill this basket with nuggets. So you go ahead in the reach-in cooler, that which would be near your fryer. Take out two frozen bags of nuggets. You're gonna open the bag and slowly put the nuggets in the basket and you'll have to shake the basket a little bit. And since you have your blue gloves on, you can go ahead and touch the nuggets to get them down in each of the slots. Once you have the nuggets situated in the basket, you are going to properly remove your blue gloves before you drop the basket into the fryer. So you'll notice Zion takes the first glove off, rolls it into his second hand, and then removes the second blue glove from reaching on the top of his wrist, and he drops it right into the garbage can. So your hand never touches the outside of the glove where you had just touched raw product. Okay, he's gonna pick up the basket and drop it in the bag, and you'll make sure that it is, the display is correctly displaying the product, which is McNugget. After you drop it in, it'll hit the number one, and then it'll pull it right back out, give those nuggets a little shake, and then we will put it right back down in the oil. Why do we do this? so that the nuggets do not stick together while they are cooking. It's very important, give it a dip in, pull it back out, give it a little shake, and then you put it back down into the oil for the remainder of the cooking time. Next, we are gonna show how you properly fill up a filet basket, okay? So the filet basket is a little bit different, okay? You can fit a total of eight filets in a basket, and they are put up straight up and down, okay? So again, Zion's gonna put on his blue gloves. Anytime you're touching raw product, you must have your blue gloves on. Go in your walk-in freezer, or your wall, uh, wall freezer. I'm gonna grab your filet out and we'll just drop four of those. You never want to load the baskets over the fryers. Okay, so you'll see he's loading the basket up over a tray and the filet are standing straight up and down, okay? Put the filet back in the wall freezer. And then of course he removes his gloves the proper way, rolling the first one into his hand and then removing the second glove from the top of his wrist, okay? 
flip the lid on the basket and then we go ahead and drop that into the filet bag. Again, make sure the display is reading the proper product filet. I'll hit the number one and then it goes heads and cooks for three minutes and 30 seconds, okay? It's very important to understand that filet can only be cooked in its own filet bag cross-contamination whenever you are cooking fish in a chicken bag. Right next to it, it says crispy. You, again, can never drop the filet basket into a bat with the description of crispy on it, mixed chicken, or nuggets, okay? Next, we're gonna go head over what basket you use to cook crispy chicken and mixed chicken. However, we're just gonna go ahead and drop the McChicken so you can see. This basket is a single two segment basket. So you can see in, inside there's a little divider, okay? And Zion will show you how we're gonna fill it up with McChicken. McChicken can fit a total of six per basket and crispy chicken can only fit a maximum of four crispy chickens per basket. So with mixed chicken, you're gonna have three on one side of the divider, three on the other side. Crispy will be two on one side of the divider and the other two on the other side, okay? Go to your wall freezer. You're gonna go ahead and grab your mixed chicken. You'll notice mixed chicken is in a blue bag, okay? They are smaller than the crispy chicken. Okay, and you drop one on each side when you're loading the basket. Maximum, again, of six McChickens in a basket. Never use the basket that does not have the divider in it. That is only for chicken tenders when we get those back, okay? So then we'll go ahead and drop the McChicken basket in the back. go ahead and hit the number one. Perfect timing, our nuggets are done. So you do not have to put gloves on for this part. You hit the button, pull the nuggets up, give it a shake. And then again, you're with two hands, you're going to lift the basket over the bag and dump it right into the nugget UHC tray using two hands. If any nuggets stick, you can go ahead and give it a second. It'll pull down a little bit, and then you can dump the rest in, okay? All right. Once your nuggets are in there, if there are any fell, we don't want to use those. We'll put those in the waste. You're going to carry your UHC tray over with your nuggets to your UHC cabinet. And then you will do the same for the rest of the products. McChicken, filet, and crispy chicken, okay? Just a reminder, you always dump the cooked finished product on the side where the red sign is for cooked product only. 